Hello everyone or welcome back to our channel. So uh, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Hansa Nora Sharma and I've been a mentor for in a board exam for agriculture and rural development and I've done my bachelor's in horticulture and I've also completed my master's in nematology. So for today's topic, we are going to do on in this first wheel, okay? So uh, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and you can also press the bell icon for further notifications from our channel related to exams. And, and now let's start off with our topic. So today's topic we've chosen on in this first rail, Kisan Rail, okay? So this Kisan Rail, uh, it was flagged off on 7th of August, which is today on of 2020, okay? So basically this train will have a weekly service and it will run from Nasik, which is from Maharashtra. And it will run to Patna, which is in Bihar, okay? So we're going to talk more in detail about it. So before that, let me just give you a rough introduction about what this train is going to be. Okay, so the free charges of this train, uh, it will be for 33%, which is lower than the normal charges for the parcel of the passengers. So when we're talking about this uh, freight charges, uh, so basically freight charges are nothing but the charges or it's also, these are also known as the um, freight rates. Okay, so these are the amount which are paid by to the courier company uh, for the transportation of the goods from one point to the uh, of the origin right till the uh, different location. So these are the charges which is for the uh, basically the career charges for these goods all right so these are the freight charges so it means that this freight charges for especially under the Kisan rail for the agriculture commodities it will be lesser by 33 percent than the normal charges which they uh, charge for the parcel of these passengers okay so these are something about it and now let's move on to our uh, next slide okay and in our next slide, we're just going to talk about what this Kassan wheel is going to comprise of, okay? So basically, this Kassan wheel is going to be comprised of refrigerated coaches, okay? And which is in the express as well as in the freight trains. So when you're talking about this refrigerated coaches, so this will be mainly for the coal supply chain, okay? So the whole uh, coaches of these trains will be refrigerated and this will be for the perishable goods of agriculture products, right? So this... Um, train will definitely help in bringing about the perishable um, agriculture products to the market in a short period of time as you all know that we in india the uh, supply chain management is very poor and especially uh, to bring about the change to have to reduce the post harvest losses in those agriculture commodities uh, which takes up a lot of time from bringing from the actual uh, market actual farm produce to the market and to the uh, to the uh, consumer's doorstep is a long process right so so to reduce that as well as to increasing the shelf life and to reduce the contamination of these fungus or bacteria on these agriculture products, they have chosen this refrigerated coaches. Okay, so I hope this is clear. And now let's talk about briefly about the background of these Kisan rail. Okay, so in the line with the uh, in union budget with the goal of doubling the farmer's income or to increase the farmer's income by 2020, the union government uh, they initiated this Kisan rail scheme. Okay, so this Kisan rail scheme or the budget the budget they propose to build a seamless national national coal supply chain for perishable which will be inclusive of all the milk products as well as even the uh, meat and fishes as well all right so the indian railway they will set up this kisan rail through a ppp arrangement right so it'll be through ppp arrangement which means that public private public um, partnership arrangements right so this is something about it and these initiatives these are taken up by the indian railways okay so this will aim to bring a seamless national coal supply chain for the perishable goods which will be inclusive of the milk and milk products so basically from the farmers uh, from the farmers field to bring it about to the directly to the uh, to the market in a short period of time they will be uh, this kisan rail will be help in bringing about transportation of all the produced agricultural commodities right to the farmers and especially it is um, more important for all these uh, products like milk meat and fishes where for example if you bring if you uh, buy milk in the morning during the summer days right so by the end of the day 
the milk gets spoiled but again if you have a refrigerator and if you put your milk in the refrigerator it becomes long lasting so it's the same way uh, that these uh, refrigerated coaches in the trains will help in uh, increasing the shelf life of these uh, products it will also help in protecting it from getting infected or getting contaminated with bacteria or any fungus right so in that way it'll become more it'll be more fresh and it'll be uh, available for the consumers in a more fresh form. So these are the background uh, on the, for this Kisan railway scheme. So when we're talking about this full supply chain, basically full supply chain will and the traditional supply chain will differ from each other by the material sensitivity, right? So basically, um, if you take any other supply chain like tomatoes and if you compare it with milk products, example uh, which of the products will be more uh, will perish more so the answer would be your milk so milk products these are more sensitive to the nature to the environment so for that cold supply chain these are mostly supplied in a proper refrigerated or a controlled environment to have these such products uh, be more less perishable and to improve their shelf life right but these are just a simple uh, differences between this cold supply chain and these um, normal traditional supply chain okay so um, let's go to the next slide so we're going to talk about some of the major initiatives which are taken up with this Indian railway so we, basically we have this, uh, taken up three major initiatives right which is mainly for the transportation and the supply chain of this uh, agriculture products or the agriculture commodities the first one here is in the refrigerated parcel vans second one is refer or which is also known as the ventilated insulated rail containers and the last one here is a cold storage facilities so when we're talking about this refrigerated parcel vans these railways the indian railway they have developed a new design for this refrigerated parcel vans which have a carrying capacity so they will have a carrying capacity of 17 tons for the transportation of the highly perishable parcels right so this will also be procured through the rail coach factory as well right so the charges of this uh, vans or this refrigerated parcel vans these are much higher these are quite higher than the normal freight vans so it'll be 1.5 double or almost uh, triple the amount of or the charge of a normal freight trains and when we're talking about these ventilated insulated uh, rail containers so the indian railway at this moment they have procured about 98 ventilated insulated containers for the transport of the fruits as well as vegetables all across the country and these containers it means which means that each of these containers will have carrying capacity of about 12 tons per container and the last one here is in the cold storage facilities uh, which is for the perishables so under this project the temperature controls perishable cargo centers they have already been set up at selected areas in uh, different parts of the country especially in up uh, in delhi so this is under the kisan vision project okay so these are some of the uh, initiatives which are taken by the uh, indian railway it's not uh, completely necessary for you all to go a bit in detail with this so just by knowing the steps or the initiatives taken by them and just by knowing some of the important points that i've just talked about that is more than enough okay for the exam point of view and now let's go to let's talk about another uh, cold chain supply initiative which is taken up by the government of india so this we're going to talk about um, this krishi uran scheme right so this krishi uran scheme this was uh, it is an initiative which is taken up by the civil aviation ministry right so this basically for the international as well as in the national routes and um, they the, it was proposed in the same way this uh, scheme was also proposed in the budget of 2020, 2020 to 21 uh, which definitely will be implemented by the aviation ministry and this is mainly for the transportation of the uh, agriculture products for the farmers okay so and this scheme was named as an Kushi Uran scheme so this uh, was launched by the ministry on both international and national routes and which will actually help uh, the improve the value uh, realization on the agriculture products of the farmers so this uh, scheme is mainly focused or it is mainly um, will mainly assist the farmers uh, with more focus on the less accessible uh, accessible parts of the country which is the northeastern part of the country as well as in the tribal districts of the country all right so before that these uh, the, um, 
Uran scheme, it was also launched before uh, around 2016, right? So this was done to boost the regional connectivity at an affordable airfares, right? So these airplanes, these are provided uh, concessions from the center, state, and airport operators. So these are something about the Kushi Uran scheme, and I hope that this is clear. And that's all for today. So uh, if you guys have any more doubts or if you guys have any more suggestions on what topic that you guys uh, want to uh, have doubts on or if any if you guys want any topic to take up then feel free to drop it in the comment section i'll definitely think about it and i will try to create another video for you all in all those areas where you guys are lacking or in those areas where you guys have some problems in understanding so in that way i will be trying to i'll try to help you all as well right guys so that's all for today if you guys have liked this session with me don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as well and you can also press the bell icon if you guys are new and do press the uh, bell notification because you're gonna get uh, a lot of updates on exam related questions as well as content which will actually help you prepare better for your exams right so that's all for today thank you so much and we'll be meeting for the another session